All right, good afternoon. I am Micah Brown, Micah Brown Media, and I am either an AV wizard or an IT unicorn. You pick. But I am the media services consultant. I am the go-to media services consultant for the BNI Piedmont producers as well as many other circles of of influence. So just to get things rolling here, this is my family, this is the most recent family photo from this past Easter. That's my wife Allison, my two girls Ellie and Faye, my boy Joel, and our newest member, the four-footed furry baby Brayden. Um, this is the only time outside of weddings and funerals that you will see me wear a tie, but I will hope you recognize I'm still wearing skinny jeans in this picture. I am uh, well versed in media and technology, both AV and IT. My Bachelor of Communications has an emphasis in electronic media. I've been tech savvy since birth and I've been media minded since childhood. That means just being able to produce content and make content and make amazing things. Um, my wife says that I have the, the Midas touch um, of technology that it just it just obeys me um, I said and I tell her technology just understands me um, this video here this is actually a uh, project for a client we were adding some RAM to their laptop um, so we had to do a full teardown to get at the RAM and then be able to put Humpty Dumpty back together again um, make it look like nothing ever happened but the laptop was much more usable after we gave it some new life with some upgraded RAM, which we'll talk about more uh, as we progress here. Look, it started up and everything. My mission in life is to convey the beauty and intrigue of the world that God has made and the individuals he has placed in it. I love people, I love meeting people, I love talking with people, finding out what it is that they do, why they do it, and how I can help them. Uh, be able to achieve their goals and go further and farther with with the addition and proper usage of technology within their lives and businesses. So media services. The heck is media services? So let's give you a little list here, short list of some of the things that I provide people. AV consulting, photography, video production, drone photo, video, Mac PC tech support, both remote and live custom PC builds, tech purchasing, setup and installation, live sound production, video conferencing, computer questions, live streaming, YouTube setups, podcast production, Facebook Live, content strategy, social media, household tech. Look, seriously, if you're gonna buy a blender, call me. I have researched the tar out of all of them. Uh, camera buying, PC tune-ups, home theater. If you haven't seen a picture of my home theater setup, it's pretty awesome. Um, music production gear. Lighting design, which we'll go to in a minute uh, later in this presentation. Computer upgrades, YouTube Live, Instagram TV, Zoom branding. That also includes things like WebEx, FaceTime, etc. TV purchasing, for the love of everything, if you're going to buy a TV, call me first. Um, even office ergonomics and, and more. These are all the things that, that are at the intersection of AV and IT. And that is where I live in this space. So purchasing, let's, let's talk about that. That's the one thing that is my biggest beef with people is they will buy something, then ask me, did I do a good thing? Did I buy a right thing? And so most of the time, if you're calling me after you bought it, I'm going to have some feedback that you may not want to hear because so many times, especially in technology, People get taken for a ride at the big box store or they read reviews online. They think they know that's what they need, but they don't know how to ask all the questions to know if that's actually what they need or if they're wasting money. So let, I'm gonna tell you the how I can save you time and money when you're purchasing anything tech related. If you plug it in, call me before you buy it. And we're gonna do the tale of two laptops. So here we have two laptops. Uh, my laptop and a client's laptop. This is recent. I purchased both of these laptops within the past mm, two months, I'm gonna say, two, three months. Um, you can see the MSRPs there. Very similarly spec'd. Mine is a Core i5 8th gen. 
Theirs is an i7 8th gen. I have 12 gigs of RAM, they have eight. I have a 512 gigabit hard drive. They have a 256 gigabyte hard drive. I have Windows Pro, they have Windows 10 Home. You can see the MSRPs there. I purchased both of these from the uh, same place, from the same uh, vendor. And let's dig a little bit deeper because the, the, just this surface level does not tell the whole story. So this is the Lenovo S340. And these are just the comparisons. So what's highlighted in green would be considered the better of the two or the more expensive option of the two. So you can see mine has pretty much a slightly lower spec processor, but I have more RAM and more storage and a better operating system. I didn't highlight it in green because it's kind of either way for people, but the client's laptop does have a touch screen, which I will show you how we utilize that feature for them um, in a little bit. So uh, if we look a little bit closer at the RAM, 12 versus eight, people go, well, how much is enough? And what does that even really mean? Um, if you think about a computer uh, as like an office, a, the desk, the size of the desk is how much RAM you have. And the person sitting at the desk is the processor. So if you have somebody who's really efficient at working, but they have a really small desk, they can do tasks quickly, but they can't do very many of them at the same time. Whereas if you have a slightly less efficient person working, but they can do a lot of things at the same time, they have a gigantic desk. They can get out spreadsheets and they can get out rulers and everything. That's your RAM, your multitasking type of abilities. So you see there, Windows, they're pretty much industry standard. Windows is gonna recommend you have at least four gigs to run Windows 10 if you wanna have a smooth experience. If you like a laggy, slow experience, then two gigs is fine. Adobe, however, recommends at least eight gigs for if you're gonna open Photoshop or Illustrator, and at least 16 if you're doing video editing. So RAM is hugely important if you're gonna do anything besides like check your email. Even running, even running web browsers can eat your RAM. So for example, if you're a Chrome user like me, Chrome eats RAM for lunch. And it just has to do with how the program is set up. And I won't bore you with the details, but if you're a Chrome user like me, just know that you need more RAM in your computer. So if we look um, at another slight difference that I found that I thought was very interesting, if we go back and look at the specs, both of these computers have a solid state drive, which is very fast not only a solid state drive, but they have a current technology solid state drive called an NVMe. That has to do with a protocol of how the hard drive moves information around. If you're all bleary eyed already, just know this. On the spec sheet at big box store where these laptops would be shown next to each other, on paper they have the same hard drive, just one is larger. In actuality, when you run tests, benchmark text, tests on these computers, my laptop had a 51% faster hard drive when reading information. That means fetching files and things like that. And a 36% faster time writing those files. Even though on paper, these are both good solid hard drives. So just know that there's always some marketing jazz going on in the background because what led to this difference was the client's laptop, although a higher, quote unquote, higher spec model, the hard drive they used was from a not as quality of a manufacturer. Therefore, the part doesn't perform as well as the hard drive that is in my computer that is from a more well-known hard drive manufacturer. And again, we're talking about the same exact laptop, same year, same model series, everything. So how much do you think I, I paid for uh, my laptop? You're all wrong. I paid $380.56. Now what do you think I paid for my client's laptop? Wrong again. $596.68 using things that I 
track and I price out and I research the tar out of everything that I do when I make purchases for myself or for my clients to fully understand what they need, why they need it, and what they are going to be able to pay for it to maximize their budgets and to make sure that that tech works flawlessly for them. So this is um, just some of the wizardry that I do for clients on a daily basis, not just with computers, with any piece of technology, um, helping them research and understand because you don't have time to sit around and research and read and read and read and read about all the different technologies and the new um, things coming out and the new devices and all that stuff. You have better things to do with your time. I do this for a living, so I have the time to do all this research and keep this massive Rolodex of what's going on out there in technology land. So that is um, something I did for them. So what's the what's the tale? The moral of the story here for the uh, tale of two laptops. It's how much time and money will you forfeit? for tech that doesn't really suit your needs before asking a wizard to work his magic. So remember, I'm the AV wizard or the IT unicorn, and you can make the choice. So it's just some recent projects to show you here. That's actually a recent project I just finished in my office, a uh, little branded, branded pegboard going on. Um, Heart of the City Studios uh, recording studio over in, over in Greensboro. They are actually the client that I purchased this laptop for. And what we're doing for them is we are installing a live stream solution for them to be able to record video as like they already do audio production. That's what they are. They're a recording studio, but to record videos of their recording sessions for their clients so that they can provide them with video that they can use on their social media pages and, and things like that. So I designed a live streaming solution for them that is very straightforward, easy to use, three camera setup with live streaming as well as recording capabilities. And for the parts, I got them in under $2,000. That's including the computer. And also in this build, we did a full um, DMX control. DMX is what they use for theater lights and things like that. DMX control um, lighting suite so that for the different artists we can show different lighting environments and and help set with the tone and the mood of what they're presenting. Obviously you might use a little bit different um, color scheme for a rapper than you would a jazz vocalist. So that's really cool and fun stuff. I'm just gonna let these run. Uh, next is uh, Town of Kernersville Parks and Rec. I did a video for them recently. They wanted to let the community know that they're still there, they're still working, they're still trying to um, reach out and do all that they can. So I wrote uh, the script for this one. And then obviously due to social distancing, everybody went and recorded their own videos, got them back to me, and then I cut it together for them. So we're gonna. What's up, Kevin? Hey there. Hey friends. Hey guys, it's Katie. Hi, I'm Dave. Hey, I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Brittany. Hi, my name is Kevin, and I work for the town of Kernersville in the Parks and Recreation Department. Hi, my name is Eric Bates, Parks and Recreation Director for the town of Kernersville. These are uncertain, difficult, and challenging times. Sheltering in place and social distancing keeps us away from the things we love. Playing sports, dancing, learning new skills. Or just watching movies together in the park. But most of all, we're kept from you, our amazing community. Without you, we do not have a reason to host programs, host any sports, or have any events. While we are kept apart, please know that we will do anything and everything we can to support you during this time through various virtual programs, activities, and maintaining our parks. Though these times are uncertain, difficult, and confusing, we will see them through together. We miss you, we're here for you, and we can't wait to be together again. Thank you for your continued support, and we'll see you soon. And that's, that's all for me. Follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn. Contact me if you have any tech questions. This is, if you ever have somebody who says, my computer's running slow, I'm thinking about buying an X, I'd like to start a YouTube channel, I want a better camera, any of those kinds of questions are things that I can help with. So I'm Micah with Micah Brown Media and I'm either an AV wizard or an IT unicorn. Thank you.